Hey Social Cam, this is Pastor Matt, and I just kind of wanted to share something that uh, kind of happened to me today. Uh, I realize a lot of times the one place that many Christians sort of let their Christianity go to the side is when they uh, get into their vehicle. <laughs> when all of a sudden we're in our car, we love God, but we seem to not display it to people so often. Well, uh, today I was in rush hour traffic, and uh, in Dallas sometimes rush hour traffic is a bit much. And uh, you know how you're all in the line, and there's a lane next to you, but you don't expect anyone to be in that lane next to you because you're all supposed to merge. Well, right at the merging point, I see this car just zooming up to right in front of me to try to get into the lane. And you know, the first thing that came in my mind was, I am going to block him in. I'm not going to let this guy get into my lane. And as I was praying, you know, God's really shared with me a couple things for me to do every single day. I made the decision to love this person unconditionally. And so I said, I, I let them in. But not only did I let them in, I started praying for the person in the car. I prayed that uh, they were able to make it to work on time. I prayed that they had a grace-filled day and that people would be able to bless them. And as I was doing it, God quickened something in me and told me that that person was praying that someone would let them in. And I realized that I was the supernatural answer to that prayer. Not only uh, was I you know, willing to, uh, to give this per show this person love, but God used me as the answer to someone's prayer. Let's really be mindful, even when we're in our car, even while we're at work, even while we're doing things, to find someone to love unconditionally. God may have set you there for such a time as that right then to be able to answer that person's prayer.